In this video, I'm going to talk you through how you start a blog on WordPress.com. And note that we're talking about WordPress.com, not WordPress.org. There is a big difference between the two sites. And on WordPress.com, WordPress will host your blog on their server for free, forever. And you know, if you're just starting out or if you just want a fairly basic blog, this is a fantastic solution. And like all things, though, there are pros and cons to the whole procedure. Let's look at some of the pros. Well, of course, the big pro is the cost. You know, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything at all to host your blog on WordPress.com. And there are automatic updates, so you know that your WordPress blog is always going to be up to date with all the latest things that WordPress have to offer. So you don't have to worry about any of the back-end tasks that you have to take care of when you have a WordPress blog on your own server. And of course, there's bulletproof security. After all, it would be very embarrassing to them if your site were to get hacked. So they make absolutely certain that that doesn't happen. And there's 24-7 support. Um, when you have a self-hosted WordPress site, then, of course, the support depends on what sort of support your hosting company offers. And it's SEO optimized, so it's easy to get listed in Google and the other search engines. They'll do it for you very quickly. And Google's robots crawl the site very frequently. So as soon as a new blog gets uploaded onto WordPress.com, it gets indexed pretty much right away. Uh, but of course, there are always some cons. So let's look at those. Uh, first and foremost, only the most basic option is free. Only the most basic option. If you want some of the more sophisticated features, then you have to pay. And exactly what you pay depends, of course, on what you want. Ads may be showing your site and you won't receive any revenue from them at all. That will all go to a company called Automatic, which happens to own the WordPress.com site. And you can't upload custom themes, plugins, or modify the code. Now, for a lot of people, this won't be a big deal, but for some, it will be a very big deal. And of course, the domain name is going to include WordPress.com. It's going to be your blog name dot WordPress.com. So that can also be a problem. You don't have your own domain unless, of course, you upgrade to one of their premium packages. But then, of course, uh, it can be expensive to buy a domain that way. And finally, and perhaps most importantly, it's never actually your site. It belongs to the company that hosts it. And if you fall foul of any of their terms and conditions or there's complaints or for whatever reason they decide to take your site down, they'll take your site down and you'll lose everything. So you don't have any control over the site. It's never actually your site. Now, you can upgrade to one of their premium plans and you can get things like custom domains. You can get e-commerce. You can use premium themes. Uh, you get more storage space and, of course, no ads. But you do have to pay for that. And you do have to pay for that upfront when you register your site and when you set your site up. Now, let me just show you how you go about setting up a site on WordPress.com. OK, the first thing to do is to come here to WordPress.com. And as I was saying earlier, be sure to come to WordPress.com, not WordPress.org. And then very simply click here on the button that says Create Website. And it takes you through to this page. And as you can see, there are five steps to creating your site on WordPress.com. And the first step is to add the site address. And this is the unique URL that your blog will have. And as you can see, it's going to be a subdomain of WordPress.com. So let's call this New Videos to Go. And it's showing it is available. So what I do now is click here where it says Create Your Site and Continue. 
it takes you through to this page and as you can see it's now got the site's address and they need a few more details they need my email address and they need a password then you have to read and agree to the terms of service and then click here where it says next step so let me just pause the video while I add these details in okay I've opened up the terms of service in a new window or a new tab rather so that I can read them here all fairly straightforward let's just close that and you can see I've put all the other information in here so now all I have to do is click here on next step and it takes you through to this page which is actually an upsell page and you can type in a custom address or you can buy one that they have here um, I'm in the UK so it's giving the prices in pounds sterling but if you're in another country it'll give you the prices in your local currency and so you can choose to upgrade and have a custom URL if you wish I'm not going to do that for this demonstration so I'm going to click here on no thanks and it takes you through to the next step where you choose a theme for your blog and there are a number of ones you can choose from depending on whether your blog is going to be mostly photographs or mostly text just scroll down a bit so you can see them and lots of different ones here now for demonstration purposes I'm going to say that my blog is going to be mainly text so let's find a fairly simple one let's choose this one here minnow so I just click on that and now it's setting it up and then you come to this upsell page where you can decide to keep the free one or you can upgrade and you can see there are different uh, prices that you have and you do have a free trial option for some of the uh, um, some of the premium ones for this demonstration I'm going to stick with the free ones so I'm going to click here where it says select free and it takes me through to this page where they say they need to verify my email address it says to post and keep using wordpress.com you need to validate your email address click the link in the email we sent at it's got my email address here and let's just scroll down a bit to show you some of the other things you can add features with the plan or you can customize the site by clicking here you can change the theme uh, let's go down here you can start your first post or you can create a page or you can skip the steps and come back to this page at any time right I need to verify my email address first so let me just pause the video and log into my email account okay I've logged into my Gmail account and you can see here it's saying confirm email address so I just click it on the button and it opens up this new tab which says my email is now verified and I can start publishing posts on my blog you get this one here hello world which is the default first post and you can change some of the other things here you can go to the WP admin section just click on that so you can take a look at it and as you can see it's the standard WordPress dashboard and if you just scroll down you can see some of the rest of it all these different things that you can add in it's slightly different from the WordPress dashboard that you would have if you installed WordPress on your own server um, it doesn't have quite so many features but you know if you're just going to have a, a simple blog then this is more than adequate and as I said earlier on this is free forever so uh, it is very good value for money even though you may have advertising on it let's just take a look at the site click here on my site and then we'll click here where it says view site and we can get an idea as to what the site will look like and there we go that's it done and you can see it's showing my URL new videos to go dot wordpress dot com now this is setting it up on wordpress dot com but as I mentioned earlier 
you are limited in the functionality that you can have on a wordpress.com site so if you're serious about blogging and you're serious about getting traffic to your blog and particularly if you want to monetize your blog then you really do need to have it on your own hosting and on your own domain and i'll start to tell you how to do that in the next video